That was just an unbelievable day. Matty Rogers went heavy. The Kazakhs popped off. Last year had his big session. We saw a world record in competition. Uh, this day has everything. All right, day six is potentially the biggest start to a day we've had. That first session was pretty insane. Oh, by the way, Ho Sing Chun competes tonight against uh, Luo Xiaomin, uh, Luo Shifang. It's gonna be like ridiculous, so watch that. Um, so at 9 a.m., Matty Rogers from the USA, she was dropped down to 76, by the way, not 81. She's been in the country for 12 hours, and she comes in, hang snatches 110 kilos twice, which is massive. I mean, I think the world standard is 117. Uh, her best snatch is like maybe 111 or 12 or 30, something like that, massive. Then she hang cleans 140. Uh, I haven't seen that yet. I imagine, did she do one of those ones where she comes up on her toes, then she goes down, yeah. Uh, and then she jerked 145, just ridiculously strong. She's clearly in amazing shape right now. Uh, and I think she's got a good shot silver medal um, uh, in that category. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really fun session, that 76s. Uh, then also from the USA, we had Juliana, uh, who snatched 100 kilos. I saw her hand cleaning like 125 the other day. She's looking great. Um, Sarah Robles, uh, the super, she snatched 115, 120, which is great. I mean, she's the only, I mean, one, if she can just stick around that 120, 125 mark, it's gonna be really tough for um, Coach Mary to kind of get that number one slot in the USA. So if she can turn up here and hit 125 and then in the mid 50s, like that's really great for Sarah. Then, ridiculously, I got a message from Nick saying Salazar is going to win the 81s. I was like, why is that? Uh, so she hit a 145 kilo power, no, sorry. <laughs> she hit a 145 kilo clean and jerk that looked like an opener. Looked ridiculously easier easy. Easier than an opener. I don't know about easier than an opener. It, it looked easy, it looked easy. I mean, I don't know. I think, uh, uh, I'm gonna, uh, my money's still on China. She's going to be in the medals. She's going to be in the medals, sure. yeah. yeah. She might push it on the clean and jerk, but yeah, that looked crazy. Uh, then we had Team GB and the Kazakh boys went big and the Kazakh session we filmed every single lift from both of them So that's gonna be its own YouTube video at some point because they went like Very ham like they both lifted more than they hit the Asian Championships last month uh, Let's do Team GB quickly some heavy lifting from some of them. Um, we saw Sarah Davies at 71 She worked up to 98 in the snatch 124 in the clean jerk. Like, these are openers basically uh, and then I want to say she did maybe three or four doubles at 155 kilos in the back squat. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Right. All the way. Zoe went up to maybe just 80%, something like that. She's our 64. Um, we saw Cyril snatch 130. Uh, I believe Chris Murray, our 81, snatched 120, power snatching it. So nice little session from over there. But the Kazakh boys, I mean, they've been telling us this whole time, okay, we're gonna go big on the seventh. Today was the seventh. I was actually back at the hotel. I looked at my phone. They walked in <laughs> and I looked at my phone and thought, hang on. Yeah, Nick, oh, boy, yeah, yeah, so I was back at the hotel, I'd had breakfast, I was uploading to YouTube, I got a text from Nick saying, it's the 7th. <laughs> Imagine my dismay. <laughs> I grabbed my bags, ran through Bogota, got here, just as they were snatching their top singles. Nick had been filming it, so it was all good. 165 by uh, Archie Mantropov, uh, and then 170 by Nagisa, 96. That's a big snatch. What uh, did Mantropov do at Asian Champs? Is it 150? 157 or something like that, so he's way up on that. Uh, then in the and he's also not feeling good. Uh, at the end of the session, he said to me, he was like, touch my head, touch my head. So I put my hand on his head, and he's like, I feel, ooh. So he didn't feel good, but uh, Nagisa worked up to 210 kilos in the cleaner jerk, which is massive at 96. Uh, I mean, what was the winning cleaner jerk at 96? Like 216 at Asian Champs by Probably Andropov. Andropov yeah. Then Andropov did 220 kilos, which again is enormous. He's competing on 102 though. I think the world standard is... Two, 231 maybe so he's got to get 231 he could do that he looked phenomenal uh, and I asked him after the session like, what, are your, what are your best lifts so uh, Nagisa's best snatch is 185 best clean jerk is 250 yeah 185 yeah yeah in training he showed me the video at 96 at 96 yeah yeah two, so two kilos off Lesman world two record. kilos off the world record yeah so 185 215 
uh, which is 400 total, which is enormous. Uh, and then Artyom's done, he didn't tell me what he'd snatched, but he's clean and jerked 225. So it was pretty massive. Yeah. So they had a good session. Lower down, I was just doing some, I think I saw her do some like 155 back squats, something like that. I think she had a men's bar that she was squatting with. Uh, but yeah, all in all, crazy first couple of sessions. We think that Iran's coming in next, which we think means Mustafa, the 81, who took the silver medal at the Bra silver? silver at the World Championships last year behind Carlos. Uh, he hit 204 in the clinic jerk at 81. He's ridiculously good. So uh, I think we're going to see him, but we need to get to editing. Yeah, go get your tickets. It's uh, Kuo Sing Chun Show, who was just training here, but she's now competing because this is a day to day. So go watch it. Seb, out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, short little session there. It was pretty much just Team Venezuela turned up, which for us predominantly means Kedemo Vianir, the 89, who's just on form right now. A lot of people are actually thinking that he's going to beat Carlos. I don't, but he is going to go... He could set a new world record. I believe that. His 213 was so easy the other day. So he just did uh, 140 kilo hand snatch. I think then he built up to 200 kilo jerks. He told us he was going to do this and he basically stuck to the plan. He did that for two singles at 200, just pretty comfortable. Uh, and then, obviously, he's a guy who can front squat 290, because that's what 310. So he did 240 front squats, which is super light, super easy for him, incredibly quick. And then he finished off with some balls, but yeah, really short, um, really short little session. And I think we've got Georgia and China coming soon. Saudi Arabia just turned up, uh, but the Saudi boys have either competed, well, they'll have all competed by the time you see this, so we probably won't film them realistically, but yeah, stay tuned. That was probably the most unexpected heavy day from last year we've ever seen. Like normally, we're all kind of aware that he's kind of coming to do it. When he comes in, there's like a vibe of like, I'm going for a massive lift. Today he walked in in these baggy trousers. And we all looked at each other like, oh, he's not going heavy today. He looks like he's ready for bed. Um, in fact, no one really started filming him, even when he's doing his muscle snatches. And then I suddenly said, you know, let's just, let's just get it. I might, he might snatch 180 today. This could be the day he does that. Um, he got to 180, and then suddenly the greens came out. Right, okay, what's he going? He went 95, and when he does 95, you start to get a little bit interested because if it ends in a five, then it might end in 215 rather than 210, and that's what happened. Uh, 195 looked fine. The, t the 205, I think, looked the best, and then up to 215, which equals the most that he hit in the training hall last year at the World Championships when he did the 225. I'm not saying he's in that kind of shape, but I mean, he looked pretty good. Uh, then in the clean and jerks, he never goes quite as high, never goes quite close to world record in the clean and jerk because he does a snatch because it takes so much out of him physically. Uh, but he went up to 245 kilos, so a 460 kilo total, which. Who else is going to be able to do that? Like, what could Lally on his best day do? On his best day, 212, 255, if everything goes to plan. So, so that, that wouldn't win, but he's got more in him. So, he's, you know, he can put another 15 kilos on that clean jerk very comfortably. Uh, and some more on the snatch, obviously. So, yeah, really exciting to see him, you know, out of the blue come in and hit 215, 245. So casual. So many people around watching. Greek lifter doing 175 clean jerk. So anyway, I gotta go commentate on this men's 61s. Eka Yuli Irawan, clean and jerk world record holder, versus Lee Far Bin, snatch and total world record holder. Then it's the women's 55s, we've got uh, the return of Heidelin Diaz. We've not seen her since Tokyo, since she won. So, unbelievable uh, lineup today. So I gotta go and get commentated. Oh yeah, and then quick other thing to mention. Uh, Marie from France, a 71? Yeah, 70, 71. Yeah, she just snatched 100 kilos again today. Uh, so she's actually looking to be in great shape. She can go over 210. Uh, she might be able to touch one, sorry, 110. She might be able to touch 140. 250 total on a good day. Uh, might not be enough to crack the medals, but I mean, it's massive total. So yeah, shout out to Marie as well. Okay, so we're back after an incredible day filming at the competition and the training hall. Let's just do a very quick recap of those competitions. Uh, the men's 61s was as exciting as I'd hoped. I'd been bigging up this battle between Echo, uh, Yuli Irowan, the world record holder in the clean and jerk, uh, and then Lee Farbin, the world record holder in the snatch and total, the Olympic champion, both of them world champions, and it delivered in an incredible climax of a world record attempt and make by Lee Farbin. The whole session was just uh, so exciting, so much fun to commentate on with Max Ada by my side. We did a great job. The whole session was brilliant. If you want to watch that and you haven't seen it yet, it's available on demand at Weightlifting House. So you just got to get your pay-per-view ticket and all of these sessions are available live and on demand. Then the women's 55s, 
Uh, again, very exciting. We saw Anna Ferrer. We saw Anna Ferrer and Highland Deers have a great battle in the snatch. Highland pulled away and then, you know, Highland's just too strong in the clean jerk. But actually it was a Colombian who uh, really won the hearts of everyone. She got hurt in the snatch and then came back in the clean jerk, made a lift, took the silver. It was, it was pretty big time. So a lot of stuff has happened in the training hall. Nick has put it all together. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so, oh, we've got the Mustafa Javadi here. He is the silver medalist from last year at the World Championships. An unbelievable clean and jerker. I think he hit 204 kilos at the World Champs. This is 150. He's got to be probably the most underrated 81 in the world. Probably, I mean, in part because I don't talk about him as much as I should because there's not a lot of information on him. But he did the backflip after that 204 at Worlds which is really cool. Um, this, I think, is where we're gonna learn the kind of shape he's in. Although he flew in last night, so this is his first training session, so he, it would be amazing if he was in incredible shape for this first day. That 180 looked fine, didn't look the most convincing. Yeah, his face says it all. Up to 190, okay. So this is now over 90% of the world record. It's within 14 kilos of his best competition lift. Clean looks all right. You know, I just have this feeling that our boy, who we've been hyping up all this time, wait one second, 240. To be fair, this is a pretty decent first session. I can see Lee Will in the background. Yeah, I just have this dream. that once was a dream that was Roby Marin winning the World Championships, beating Mustafa, beating Shi Ziyong, beating Lee Dai In. And I just believe in that dream and I want, I want to see it come true. All right, here's Lee Won Wen. Blimey. 140 kilo push press, that's unbelievable. 220 kilos. I think that might be 225 actually, because it's a men's bar. Lee Dai In, warming up. Just rolling his back out. Lee Dai In just doesn't move anywhere with speed. He kind of reminds me about, like, he's similar to me in that way. 150. Oh, a little bit of a wobble, a little bit of a readjustment there. But his pull is just filthy. Why did he turn around? Do you think he did that to make it more challenging? It's a busy. Uh... Oh, there's just a lot going on yeah. in front of him. Yeah. And then that is 220. Yeah, as you'd expect, pretty comfortable, pretty easy. Uh, we can see one of the 59s in the background. She's competing today uh, against Quote of Chun, so you'd better go and watch that. Tian Tao, finally without his top off, you get to see his 89 kilo body. 130 power snatch. That, he actually looks to be in pretty decent shape based on that. His erectors? Ridiculous. It's unbelievable. 160, like a twig as they say. Yeah. I have to say, even though you're using the other camera, the quality of this looks pretty good. He's always a little bit protracted in his shoulders, isn't he? He's like way more rounded over than a lot. 180, he just worked up in 20 kilo jumps, I guess, by the looks of it. Yeah, no problem there. To be honest, I really wouldn't be surprised if he's in shape to hit something like 220-ish. That 200 he did in training the other day looked very comfortable. The 220 that he pulled on and then he cut off looked pretty good as well. Um, but we have no idea what shape he's in in the snack. We just haven't seen it. Uh, even since he's been here, we haven't seen it. Okay, here's... Liu Huanghua from China. This is 180 kilos. 190. Two, there's two fives. Oh, it's two fives, yeah. okay. So that's 190 kilos. That's how you make 190 not look good, is by putting two fives on. Chen Li Jun, world record holder in the total, 160, looking fast. He's got the classic answers. He's arguably more jack than Li Dai I would say. 210, pretty heavy. I guess that's like 112% of his clean and jerk. Something like that, and he does it for a double. That's pretty nice. Uh, to be fair, Team China have done some pretty decent lifts. None of them have gone up to sort of like world record levels, or I guess they don't normally do that, but you know, like heavy, heavy yet. Uh, we might see some of that, but still, they've done quite a lot. Okay, here's Laura Dana. Um, 110, so she did 121 on her first heavy day, 115 yesterday? 
Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, and then 110 today, and it looks incredibly easy. And then up to 125, that is, and the clean and jerk. Is there definitely no collars in between there? It looks like there could it might be. Might be the Aleco. Yeah, the Aleco colors. collars, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, she is in the shape of her life. I think there's no denying it. And she's also got a fire uh, in her to come back and win because she, she obviously feels like the Olympics should have been hers and uh, she wasn't able to go and compete. So she definitely wants to prove how good and strong she is. Okay, here's our big boy Gore. Just such a strong human being. 220 kilos. This is. We might see him push up to 230 kilos in the training hall, but normally he has a top snatch day of about 200 kilos. That's uh, what he did a, in Bahrain, wasn't it? Two, yeah. 200, 220. 200, 220. His jerk looks actually pretty strong right now. I'm, I'm most interested to see the shape of Viraz Dalali and his old teammate. Still training. This together. is him now 60, 82, 10, 20. This is 230. This is going to say a lot. Especially because we saw Lash's 245 earlier. Okay, that looked good. That looked good. I would just love it if Lasher was slightly under his best and Lallian was in his best shape. Uh, what is that? 18, 19, 10. Is that still 30? Yeah, he pulls. Yeah, I would just love to see that. Um, I just think it's about time we saw Lasher and Lallian have a real battle and just see them like go head to head, see Lasher pushed even more than he was. I don't want to see him push because he's injured like he was at Europeans. I want to see him push because someone matches or almost matches him and forces him to make an attempt that he doesn't want to have to make. That would be good here, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, the 2.15 today looked pretty good. I don't think Lallian's going to be good in 2.15. 2.10 maybe. Uh, 2.11, I think he might have done 2.11 at World last year, you never know. Uh, but anyway, today, fire sessions. Um, you're going to be watching Kuo Sung Chun later today compete, and then tomorrow I guess we've got the men's 67s, which will be unreal. We have Chen Li Jun, world record holder, Olympic champion, and I guess the women's 64s, which should also be a lot of fun. So go grab your tickets. Uh, it's an amazing time here. Yeah.